Welcome everyone, today I will demonstrate a quick tip on using Gobo textures in Light Wrangler. Our scene consists of several lights. The first light is a frontal light that helps create this subtle gradient, as you can see. The second light also a gradient light and it's positioned slightly from behind to create this warm high light. This light has a temperature of 4500 Kelvin, while the first one is a neutral 5500. Additionally, we have a light to illuminate the background. As you can see, we are using this abstract HDRI texture to create this interesting effect on the wall. Okay, and then we have our 360 HDRI image that provides the main light in our scene. This image features a low position sun, creating beautiful long shadows in the shot. Okay, but uh, what is the issue with this lighting setup? I think that for now it lacks some light details and a gobo texture can add great depth and interest to this scene. I found that for this particular shot, uh, the texture of the shadow of the window creates an interesting and uh, balanced composition. Uh, so how do we usually add gobo lights with Light Wrangler? Uh, simply right click, uh, add light and uh, position it initially. Then we are switching to gobo mode and uh, selecting one of our gobo textures. For instance, we will select a window texture. As you can see, we have our gobo, but it interferes with the 360 HDRI light. And the purpose of the gobo light is to act like an object position behind it. Uh, or should say uh, before uh, a harsh light source, which is typically sunlight, uh, which produces uh, these very defined shadows. And in scenes without a world HDRI shader or separate sun object, we can use the light global customization mode for spot or area lights to achieve the desired shadow pattern. However, in scenes with the a 360 HDRI image or the separate sun object, we can't actually use HDRI lights, or at least I couldn't find uh, the right way to do that. First of all, the shadows of the area, Gobo area lights and uh, uh, the shadows of uh, the existing sun light is difficult to align and it adds a necessary light to the shot. I mean, the Gobo light object adds a necessary light to the shot because we already have our illumination levels like we want them and it is unnecessary to add more light. So instead of trying to align these light sources we can convert this area light to a plane with our selected Gobo light texture applied as a stencil using shader nodes. So by clicking convert to plane you can see we have a plane with the window texture that produces a shadow. We can control the rotation and uh, border width of the texture applied to the plane. For example, we can add some kind of walls around our window to prevent light from spreading everywhere on the scene. But in this particular case, I found that this position works quite well and uh, we have our shadow texture applied to the real gobo stencil that doesn't interfere with existing lighting. Thank you for your attention and support. See you in the next one.